Hi, and welcome back to All Baking Bootcamp, where we create our favorite desserts and make them workable for you. That means if you are vegan or vegetarian, can't eat eggs, gluten-free, looking to cut back on refined sugars, we have a recipe for you. And today, it's cookie season, although it might not quite look like that here in my kitchen in Southern California, but it's always cookie season in my book. So today we're going to be tackling one of my favorite holiday recipes, which is a ginger snap cookie. I like to call these gegan because they're vegan, but they have ghee, so they're not really vegan, but kind of. But it does use a flax egg instead of an egg. So if you're intolerant to eggs or trying to cut back on that, then this recipe is great for you. We're also using all gluten-free flours, so if you are gluten-free, then this recipe is awesome for you as well. Like all cookie recipes, we're gonna combine our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. So we're starting with the wet, and this starts off with a flax egg, where we're going to mix one tablespoon of ground flax seeds with three tablespoons of warm water. All right, now we're just gonna set this aside for a few minutes to let that come together. And then we're gonna go with the rest of the wet ingredients here in the stand mixer. So this recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of almond butter, I would check the almond butter just to make sure that there aren't added sugars in it. Uh, that sometimes happens with nut butters. And we have coconut sugar and molasses in this recipe, which will be plenty of sweetness. Next, we're gonna do half a cup of ghee. So my ghee is soft already, so I'm not gonna melt it, but if you wanted to melt your ghee, you could. So, Half a cup of ghee, I'm just making sure to get all of that in here and just scraping it out of the spoon. And then we have three tablespoons of molasses. So molasses is a really cool sugar option, which I don't think we've used in Alt Baking Boot Camp to date. And what I love about it is that it's full of minerals. We have potassium, iron, selenium, magnesium, copper, I mean, so many wonderful, wonderful minerals. So I think it's a fun sugar to add. And also it adds that really, that depth of flavor that we're looking for in a ginger snap cookie. Um, and it's nice and sticky. So three tablespoons straight into the bowl. And then just half a teaspoon of vanilla and gonna give this a whirl. So as you can see, the water and ground flax seeds have really come together. So this is uh, a lot thicker than when we originally put them together. So I'm just gonna dump the flax egg in with the wet ingredients. And this is gonna really help bind the cookies since we're not using an egg. Next, we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. So as I mentioned, we've got half a cup of coconut flour, three quarters of a cup of gluten-free flour, which is a great one-to-one -one substitute for regular all-purpose flour. And we've got half a cup of coconut sugar. And I love this coconut sugar. It's gonna pair really well with the molasses to get that really like deep, rich flavor that you think of when you think of a ginger snap cookie. And then we've got some spices here, which I'm really excited about. I love cooking with spices because I feel like spices are just a really easy way to incorporate more flavor and nutrition into any dish. And I think they're just a great part of a whole foods diet. So today we are using cinnamon, ginger, and five spice. I really like five spice. I discovered this when I was living in Hong Kong and it's traditionally used in a lot of Chinese and Vietnamese cooking in savory applications but I just love the flavor profile of the cinnamon, the cloves, the star anise, fennel, and the Szechuan peppers. I think it's just such an interesting and dynamic spice blend, and it really adds a layer of complexity to these cookies that is new and different and exciting from just the traditional ginger snap cookie. And ginger and cinnamon, we know, are stars of holiday cooking. They're really warming, comforting spices that also carry a lot of health benefits. Cinnamon is fantastic for blood sugar regulation, and ginger is fantastic for your digestion and also really great for nausea. It's a carminative spice, which has a lot of health benefits. All right, so we've got our five spice, and we're gonna be using a teaspoon. A teaspoon feels like a little, but it's actually quite a lot. And we're also using a teaspoon of ginger to get that real spiciness. I think the spiciness of the ginger paired with the spiciness of the Szechuan peppercorns in the five spice is really special. And then 
half a teaspoon of cinnamon. There's already some cinnamon in the five spice, so we don't need to add as much of it. All right, next, half a teaspoon of baking soda and then some sea salt. I never measure the salt. That looks good to me. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit, and then I'm gonna slowly start incorporating the dry ingredients into the wet. And our dough is nicely mixed, and I'm gonna plop the dough in here and stick it in the fridge. So we're gonna allow this dough to cool for about 30 minutes. You could leave it in there longer. You could have some dough just in your freezer all the time. Once the dough is chilled, you'll see it hardens quite a lot. So it's gonna be easier for us to make the perfect shape. All right, so now our dough is nice and chilled and we can portion out the cookies. So this is one of those recipes where it's questionable what's better, the dough or the actual cookies, but I feel like I could eat a lot of this dough right on its own. So anyways, back, back to the cookie making. I'm just gonna use a spoon to portion out like about a golf ball size, stick them on the cookie sheet, and just repeat until I've used all the dough. All right, so our cookies are nice and portioned and we're gonna throw these in the oven, which is already preheated to 350 degrees. And we're gonna bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden and really fragrant. All right, these look amazing. They smell fantastic, nice and golden brown. I'm just gonna let them chill for like 10 to 15 minutes and then we can try them. Okay, I'm so excited to try these. They are, the texture is, looks fantastic. Not crumbly, but have a really great density to them. And let's see how they taste. Mmm. They're really chilly and you can really taste that five spice, the extra little kick from the peppercorns, mixed with the extra cinnamon and the ginger. Thanks for watching All Baking Boot Camp. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode and I hope to see you soon.